German National Park, five euros. But uh, so the ghost audio, you're going to have to put up with the ghost audio, which isn't going to be the best, I'm afraid, because um, the micro spare microphone I bought is just broken. The roads are about as much use as a chocolate teapot because the main unit won't switch off or connect to anything until it goes flat and starts up again. So the audio on this trip has been a nightmare, so most of it's going to be music and scenery. But, uh, there you go, that's the life of vlogging. Uh, which side of the road do you want? Fucking cheek. Oh, I'm not going to move over, I'll just drive at these motorcyclists. What the hell? So yeah. I'm going to come through this national park and have a little look see, see what it's all about. And hopefully get some audio off the ghost, but again, there's no guarantee that's going to happen because I might not even be able to find it on all the files.
everyone. I think I've sorted some kind of audio out. I've uh, used the long cable with extension I had to run straight to the helmet where the road usually plugs in. So I'm hoping, beyond hopes, that you're getting something. If you're not, it's all music and this conversation is pointless. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, there would be no Mrs. Tractor because uh, no road microphones. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah. So, we've had a little 10 minute stop again, and hopefully, I've sorted the microphones out, but we shall see. Um, looking very red, so looking like it's got a high gain, but there ain't a lot I can do about that. Right. My crash out is green. I'm hoping we get some kind of audio. Went and Scott to finish playing with his phone. What a shot! Lovely little town. Now it's just parks on the bus stop. We're going to make a move. I don't know what town it is. I ain't got a clue where we are. Well. Valenu, Wellingu, whatever, but yeah, what a place, eh? Just uh, check out these views in front. Look at that. Bosh. Not a bad place to live, is it? We're going to crack on now for another half an hour before them, them guys need fuel. Um, three of the bikes with us will need fuel. Um, the Honda's the thirstiest bike we're finding and uh, the KTM and then the 12, uh, the older 1200GS after that and then you've got the two 1250s that just make their own fuel and keep going for a couple of days um, you know, we've done 110 miles since we left the hotel we had 500k left on the clock done half the journey and I've still got 387k in range so yeah we are doing uh, about 350 miles to the tank at the moment which is not bad at all doing. I just got to remember to undo my coat when I stop. Otherwise I'm going to grot myself on the microphone cable that I've bodged together. So we're out of microphones really. I've got three microphones in my helmet. One for the Ghost, one for my intercom and one for whatever camera I plug into um, using the road. But like I say, they, that's locked on. There's no reset on it. I've got to wait till it goes flat and then it'll work again. Pain in the bum. So lucky enough I had a two meter extension, microphone extension cable, which I've plugged into the uh, 360 and I've run the lead up inside my jacket and plugged it into my helmet. But it's a wheel, it's a wang. We, uh, we turn off to the right here. You just can't take your eyes off these peaks, snow covered peaks, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Had these views now for about 100 miles we've not left the mountains and I think we've probably got the views for another 80 to 100 Ski jump now, I was looking for Eddie the Eagle, but I couldn't find him. And now uh, we're heading back down into Austria because we have been in 
Germany. So we're back in Austria now. Still heading uh, west. That's where we are, Le but, uh, I don't do camping. I like a hot shower, a nice breakfast, and nothing biting me on the bum while I'm going to the toilet in the morning. I flip me lip. Sorry about the noise. But, uh, yeah, this is Le Typical round here. You're sort of through the mountains, through the twisties, following the river. Bosch, straight into a busy little town. This is a busy little town. The thing is, we've been spoiled. Uh, if this was the UK, it'd all be dug up and we'd be seeing the traffic lights run out and get through it. But, uh, we've just been in this all day. We've, we've not left the mountains for the last five five days we've been in the mountains in the Alps. And we've been surrounded by them. Um, I've picked a route out through the Alps where we don't actually leave the Alps until tomorrow. Where we head to the Vogue's Mountains area. So, you know just turn your head and there's another view turn your head and there's another view it, it's stunning I really would love to visit this when it's absolutely covered in snow it would be beautiful more beautiful a different type of beautiful is what I'm looking for Thing you have got to look out for is these. That's the most modern tractor we've seen since we've been here. Normally they're horse drawn and doing about five mile an hour. road because they've renewed the whole lot that's how good their roads are I mean they even earlier on we, we come through a big tunnel didn't we yeah. and they were like cleaning it they had one side cut off because they were jet washing the entire internal of the tunnel absolutely brilliant morning it's 
Saturday and it's home time day. We never actually um, recorded anything yesterday because we left, excuse me, we left Luxembourg and we had a fantastic, fantastic run through the French National Parks and, and all the way up through the Belgium National Parks and it was so twisty. You know what? I forgot to record and it was absolutely roasting at 31 degrees. So it was just more of the same of what you've seen on the other videos, but it was literally all day. Um, so we're in Mons, this is the hotel car park, underground, which is good because it's already 28 degrees outside at seven o'clock in the morning. So we're just repacking the bikes, gonna have some breakfast, head to the train and home. It's all motorways, so I'm gonna end this here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you all on the next one. Bye for now.